so we haven't really vlogged today. So we've been pretty much reorganizing the boys' rooms. We have um, basically decided that we were going to take away the boys from being in the same room and we're going to take away the playroom. So yeah, it's been quite the ordeal today. So this is Gordon's somewhat new room. We haven't put all the, the toys in. Uh, but basically William's bed was here along with um, his dresser and so we've kind of moved it to be somewhat of a play center and uh, his playmobile can be on top of his dresser there so we're just kind of getting as much organized and done we're probably going to try and get Gordon's room finished uh, before we still have to do some painting we had some shelves hanging there quite a while ago and we decided that we we're going to take them down and we have never gone to actually uh, using touch-up paint and doing that so William is now where the office used to be a uh, slash guest room and uh it's not quite a baby's room but it's perfect for him we put him here because uh the noise from our living area would have um probably not been that good of an idea for him yeah. so now his bed is right here and uh we'll look, definitely look decorate why not uh this shelving unit will be coming out um so this dresser look, will be going look, over there bed. and we'll have toys here look, and um, all that fun Let's stuff. So this is going to change a little bit more Let's as well, but we, we don't have to get it all done the same way that we feel like we need to get Gordon's room done right now. Uh, the primary thing was just having like a place for William to stay. And of course the lightsaber du duel is going on right now between these two munchkins. Let's go. Oh. See what a good parent I am? I'm caressing your face with a lightsaber. <laughs> You're almost done, eh? We've got to have dinner soon. Yeah. It's pretty much go. what's going to have to happen. Because um, we are all pretty much starving, I think. Uh, we had a really good lunch. Um, so, since the new year, we've been trying to get on track in terms of health-wise. I have lost 6.2 pounds today, so I'm very, very happy uh, in this last week. Um, doing it all healthy. Probably the biggest thing is getting rid of all the crap from... Uh, Christmas because we ate so much sugar and stuff so of course cutting down on that naturally going to but uh, so I'm very very proud of myself for that. Uh, Steve's lost some weight too this week and uh What's that matter? His finger got cut by a lightsaber. <gasps> oh did you lose a finger? Yeah. Why are you so cute? That means peace. Why are you, you so cute? Your room? Which one? What are you showing me? <gasps> your ears? <gasps> What's up with them? Where's your nose? Where's your nose? Is that your ear? Okay, let's go. Say hi. Kisses? This is what I'm experiencing right now. That's really good. What other songs do you know? Okay, do jingle bells. Product of Gordon's room so far. Uh, so his toys got placed heavy top, heavy there. But all this Playmobil cargo stuff is there. We're gonna eventually paint that out and put a nice picture there. Okay. I would love to get like a massive G for right there, but I might have to paint it out. I don't know. I don't know that I could actually ship something like that up here. And then of course all of Gordon's toys are all here. Oh. Not sure if you can hear me, but all of his toys are all here. 
And there's some cute stuff. So that's uh, my grandmother. And uh, that was Gordon when he was younger with her. And her name is Rijan. And my friend Melissa made that G. My friend Kelly, who's a teacher up here, she made this. And that's a seal skin upic, which is an owl. And of course we got that for, for Gordon last year. And nothing would be complete without BB-8 and Luke Skywalker. All, I mean, sorry, Darth Vader, but this is Steven's. And yeah, so we're just uh, enjoying this room. The boys are having a good time. Hey? Um, we're singing, we're singing Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell all day. I said... I think your brother wants to try. Okay. I think my Gordon wants to try. You think your Gordon wants to try? Yeah. How about we get dressed, okay? Let's say, let's say. And just like. My drumsticks. First boy down. Nice and dressed. Where's my sticks? Oh, I put them up here. Oh, where's my drumsticks? There they are. Can you say something to our peeps? Hey? What? Say something to everybody. Say. What can't you say? I can put peeps. No, you say hey peeps. Hey peeps. What? Hey peeps. Oh, Molly, you are this. I'm gonna. You are this. This one. No, 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 no. We don't play. We don't play lightsabers with this. Um, Stephen got in the mail um, today, actually, we had a few parcels come in, uh, but he got his Winter Classic Canadian's jersey and hat. He looks pretty spiffy, and right now he's sewing on the patch. He, he found the old, I'll let him tell you the story. Tell him the story about the patch. Uh, I couldn't find it anywhere, because Winter Classic stuff, that was the game between Montreal Canadiens and the Boston Bruins. It's Who won? Really, uh, Canadians did, I think, 5-1, <laughs> so it was a blow up. Um, so Winter Classic stuff's really rare, and I couldn't find the, well, the jersey is becoming more rare, but they still had some in Canada. But I wanted this patch that goes with the jersey, because you'll notice on the right shoulder there's a patch, which is this, which is what I'm ironing on. Uh, and this one is actually in French, so it says 2016 Classic Hivernal, which is Winter Classic in French. And it says Foxboro for Foxboro Field, where the New England Patriots play. So I just wanted this patch on the jersey to make it as authentic as possible. So anyway, I found the patch at this really cool place called, what's it called? And it was, I think it's sportssk.com, and they're located in Michigan somewhere, I think outside of Detroit. And they actually had a lot of the French ones because in the US, not a lot of people are buying French items. And so I was able to find the French patch for the Montreal Canadiens jersey, which is more or less a French town. And uh, yeah, put it all together. So, and you also got the hat, which is really cool. Check the out the embroidery. Yeah. It's Isn't that awesome? Nice. It's so sweet. Yeah. Anyway, so this is it. Sorry, mm -hmm. I'm getting I'm getting a shadow from my thing, but okay. yeah, that's it. So here, this is the first time. I think I got it. Sorry guys, I'm watching Masters of Flip. Yeah, the glue is the glue is set. I don't know that I should be bending it. I think no, I need no, to no, leave no. It, don't I put it on it. it uh, uh, settle down, like drop, not dry, but uh, well, dry and kind of cool down, cool down for like 15 20 minutes. Yeah, that's beautiful. So they have a really nice jersey this uh, for the winter classic. Let's come back in 15 minutes and we'll show them once I put it, I'll put it on. Okay, kind of exciting because um, Stephen has uh, now I think that's his fourth Canadian's jersey. Yeah, he has one that is from uh, oh, the yes. Heritage Games, which you saw. And then he had another one uh, that he was given. It's a little too small around the waist midsection. And he has his regular Canadian's one, which you've seen all those vlogs. Those were all given to him by a really good friend, Sam. So this was the Winter Classic jersey. This is Alex Ovechkin's jersey from the Washington Capitals. And this one took place in, see here? Pittsburgh 2011. So this was the same kind of patch that I'm ironing on. So my buddy Ian got me that, which was a very That's nice awesome. gift from him. And then this one was... We uh, were at this game. We were at this game. This is the oh! Red 
Maple Leafs game that was in 2014. Yep. And I actually, I got the patch for this one and I ironed it on, but this is, yeah, the Winter Classic at the Big House, which is where the Michigan Wolverines play. We'll show you some and pictures of the game. Yeah. I'll put some pictures in. This is really cool. And this is a Zetterberg, uh, and Zetterberg jersey. So. They played against the Leafs, which we're yep. not big fans of. Looking back though, I probably would have got a Toronto jersey because, you know, support Canada because we're a Canadian. Uh, but still, I love Zetterberg and I love Detroit. And, and you know, my family actually, from my grandfather and back, and further back, all come from Detroit and then Alabama. So there is a link there, which is kind of cool. But uh, anyway, yeah, so that's the story. So the patch is set. Nice and smooth and bendable. There's glue on the back of it, so you just iron it and you hold it down for like 30 seconds, let it go, 30 seconds, let it go, and do it a third time. And then uh, you let it dry for half an hour. Now the glue adheres to this. Yeah. Check it out. Put on my official looking jersey. So that Looks nice. I love this jersey. Okay. Yeah. And this one's cool because it got, has these um, crests on the side. It's like, I think it was from when they were champions of the world. And they used to use some crazy term when hockey first started. And this jersey was originally from, I think, 1923 or something. So back then, you used to be the champion of the world when you won in their hockey league, as opposed to now where you're just the Stanley Cup champ in the U.S. In the just US the hockey. Stanley well, Cup champ. Well, not the U.S., but like the... North American and a you know national hockey. League, okay, so. now put on that hat. Looking, looking good. All you need is a stick. Game day. It looks good. I'm gonna show you a full tour of the boys' rooms and all the changes that have taken place, because we did finally finish Stephen's office. Would you want to do a quick tour of that right now? Uh, sure. Because we just did the boys' room, and so that's what I'm. That's what this vlog is about. So I'll show you their full completed rooms um, in our next vlog. But um, let's show you Steven's office slash, I guess, the TV room. All right, yeah. let's show you that now. This was uh, the Gordon and Williams playroom, but no longer. The only thing that's actually left from that room is the futon and the TV. Yay for dad. Um, Clearly Steven's mood lighting is on. We're going to yeah. change that in right now. Uh, yeah, I got my new smart bulb, which is a gift from the boys for we Christmas. Got, we got to get a new cover for I know, that. Yeah, for that that's cover, how the house so came when we bought it. Whatever. Mm. Um, yeah, and so what I ended up doing, well, actually, Jessica ended up doing is putting a blanket over. But I have the game systems under here. Xbox One with This was in our on, living room. And PS4, so. And the reason why the blanket's there is because... Uh, William kept pressing all the buttons, so this way, if he is in the room, he doesn't see it, he doesn't press them. And then, we, uh, well, you, you can't really all, see it here. All the, all the games and there. goodies are in there, yeah. so that's where you keep it. Ooh. Oops, so it stays away from the boys. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So, that's the couch. And then our shelving unit so has some cool things in it. So, oh, show them the mask. Gordon calls this the duck mask, which uh, we got on our on the cruise when we were on our honeymoon. The what mask? The duck mask. Oh. <laughs> we got this in Vienna when we were was on. It Vienna. It was Vienna, yeah. Yeah, it was Vienna. So yeah. Or Venice or whatever. No, it wasn't was, Vienna. Yeah, it was Vienna. Vienna, sorry. Vienna is in. We uh, got it in Venice when we were there and. <laughs> Austria. Vienna's in Austria. That's right. No, no, no. We went, we went to, so we got these because on the cruise they had like a, um, yeah. on the cruise they had like a um, masquerade ball. So this is mine, which Gordon loves to play with because it's got the cool stick. But check it. Is that hot? And then Stevens. Yeah. This is mine. Was that one. So this Gordon calls that one the duck mask. Yeah. And he calls this one the owl mask. So, he likes animals. Right there we got uh, this summer actually at the, um, the Aviation Museum. The, um, war plane, Canada Warplane war, Museum, Canadian yeah. Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum yeah. or something? Yeah, this is very cool. Yeah. So it looks like an altimeter from an old plane, but it's actually just a clock. Yeah. yeah. And of course, Darth Vader, Stephen study books, and then of course all Stephen's the other. Stephen's favorite new toy, BB-8. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is super cool. 
Anyways, guys, so this is a, a little quick, quick tour of Stephen's new office slash our family TV room, I guess you'd call it. Like, you know, when, when uh, someone's out there, then we come in here. Since it is not possible to drill, well, you can drill on the ground, but you can't build a basement. So there's no such thing as caves in Nunavut, but this is my man nest. <laughs> so I love it here. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> 